Ever wished you could press a level up button for your conversation skills so you never run out of things to say in a conversation again? Well, guess what? You just did this by clicking on this video. Today, we're diving into five eye-opening techniques for the art of not being bored when your brain decides to take an impromptu vacation and you don't know what to say next. Yeah, we've all been there. That's why I'm about to unlock and supercharge your social life with a conversational toolkit so that you'll never run out of things to say in conversation again. These aren't just basic tips for good conversations. They're skills that can turn ordinary chats into those mind-blowing, time-flying, wow, where did the last two hours go kind of experiences. So whether you're shy at parties, on a first date, or just someone who doesn't want to be embarrassed by those awkward, silent moments, lean in for this game changer of a conversation so you can never run out of things to say in a conversation again. Ask open-ended questions. We've all been there, stuck in the dreaded cycle of yes and no answers, watching the conversation fizzle out faster than a match in a hurricane. Open-ended questions are your go-to secret weapon. They can't be answered with a simple yes or no, inviting elaboration, opinion, and storytelling. They show genuine interest and help reveal new topics to explore. For example, instead of asking, did you like the movie? Try, what did you think about the plot twist in the third act? Instead of, do you like your job? Ask, what's the most interesting project you're working on right now? Rather than, have you traveled much? Try, what's the most awesome trip you've ever had? And this one is my personal pet peeve. Did you have a good weekend? How about changing that for, what was the highlight of your weekend? Now, a word of caution. Balance is key. You're not conducting an interrogation. Pepper your questions throughout the conversation and don't forget to contribute your own thoughts too. Remember, a good conversation is a balanced exchange, so be sure to share your thoughts too. And in case when someone still gives short answers, try, that's interesting. Can you tell me more about that? Or what made you feel that way? Can draw them out even further. By practicing open-ended questions, you'll never run out of things to say in a conversation and your conversations will naturally become more engaging and memorable. But asking the right questions is just the beginning. Once you've got the conversation rolling, it's your turn to keep it lively by sharing your own experiences. This is where personal stories can really shine. Share personal stories or experiences. Nothing breathes life into a conversation quite like a well-timed personal story. When something reminds you of a personal experience, serve it up. However, the key is to keep your stories relevant and connected to the current topic. Be concise. Aim for the 30 second version, not the director's cut. Be engaging. Include a dash of humor or a surprising twist when possible. Avoid oversharing. You're adding flavor, not drowning the conversation in your life story. Speaking of sharing, that reminds me, it's also a good idea to share this video with people you know who could benefit from this kind of information on how to keep their conversations going too. Now here's a pro tip. End your story with a question that brings the focus back to the other person that also shows your genuine interest in what they care about. For example, you might ask, have you ever had a cooking disaster that turned out to be a funny memory? Or are you a kitchen wizard? This technique smoothly shifts the spotlight back to your conversation partner, inviting them to share their own experiences or thoughts. Now that you've shared your story, it's time to unlock the stories of others. Our next powerful technique is about how to show genuine interest through active listening that'll transform you from a participant into a conversational catalyst. Let's explore how being truly interested in someone can make you the most engaging person in the room, even when you're not the one talking. Show genuine interest in active listening. Great conversations aren't just about talking, they're about listening too. Here's how to master this essential skill. Give your full attention by maintaining eye contact. It shows you're focused and engaged. Put away distractions. That means your phone goes on silent and out of sight. Use body language. Lean in slightly and nod to show you're tuned in. Practice reflective listening by paraphrasing what you've heard. Try saying this. So what you're saying is, this shows you're not just hearing, but understanding. Ask follow-up questions by showing genuine curiosity. You could say something like, could you expand on that? Or I'm curious. What led you to that conclusion? This not only encourages deeper sharing, but also shows you're fully engaged in the conversation. Avoid interrupting. Let them finish their thoughts before you jump in. Use encouraging sounds and gestures. Small sounds like, hmm, or uh-huh, and well-timed nods or smiles. Encourage them to continue. Empathize, don't sympathize by trying to understand their perspective, even if you disagree. Use phrases like, 
I can see why you'd feel that way. Instead of, I feel sorry for you. And here's a pro tip. Actually, listen. Don't just wait for your turn to speak. Respond to what they're saying. Ask those follow-up questions. Remember, being genuinely interested doesn't mean you have to find everything fascinating. It means you're curious about the person you're talking to and value what they have to say. Challenge yourself to use these active listening techniques so the next time you're in a conversation, you might be surprised at how much more you learn about others and how much they enjoy talking with you. With practice, you'll find that active listening not only makes your conversations more engaging, but also helps you build deeper, more meaningful connections. Using humor and lighthearted comments, a well-timed joke or a witty comment can be the perfect antidote to a stalling conversation. It's like a conversational defibrillator. It can bring a dying dialogue back to life. Humor can break that uneasy tension. It also creates a positive atmosphere and can lead to shared laughter, the ultimate bonding experience. For instance, if there's an awkward pause, you could say, well, this silence is so comfortable, I might just take a nap right here. Or if you're at a networking event, you might quip, I was told there'd be free food. I'm starting to suspect my stomach was scammed. Just remember to read the room. What's hilarious to you might not tickle everyone's funny bone. And if a joke falls flat, no worries. Simply acknowledge it with a self-deprecating comment like, well, I guess I won't be quitting my day job to become a comedian anytime soon. Now, if humor isn't your strong suit, don't panic. The next technique is a surefire way to keep the conversation flowing. Discuss current events or shared interests. Bringing up current events or common interests can provide a goldmine of discussion material. Start with a smooth introduction like, I read something interesting today. Then try something like, have you been following the latest developments in AI? Or what do you think about the new season of that popular TV show? If current events aren't landing, pivot to find shared interests. A simple, what do you like to do in your free time? Can uncover common ground. Whether it's a mutual love for obscure 80s movies or a shared passion for urban gardening, finding that right connection can fuel hours of conversation. The key here is to gauge the other person's interest. If they seem uncomfortable or disinterested, be prepared to pivot. Remember, the goal is to find common ground, not to force a topic. Think of yourself as a conversational DJ, ready to change the track if the current one isn't getting people moving. Now let's talk about putting this all into practice. This is your conversational workout plan with these fun challenges to help you never run out of things to say in a conversation ever again. These challenges will help you build your conversational superpowers of asking open-ended questions, sharing personal stories, showing genuine interest in active listening, using humor and lighthearted comments, and how to discuss current events or shared interests. The grocery store challenge. Next time you're checking out, use an open-ended question with a cashier. Try, what's the most unusual item someone's bought today? You might be surprised by the stories you hear. The friend feedback loop. During your next chat with a friend, make it a goal to use active listening techniques. After the conversation, ask them if they noticed anything different. Their feedback can help you refine your skills. The daily news drill. Each day, read one current event article and come up with three open-ended questions about it. This preps you for discussing current events naturally in future conversations. The personal story sprint. Challenge yourself to tell a 30-second personal story related to your day. Practice in front of a mirror, focusing on being concise and engaging. The humor homework. Write down one funny observation each day. It could be about your commute, your pet, or that weird vegetable you saw at the farmer's market. This will help build your bank of lighthearted comments. The silence embracer. Once a day, when there's a lull in conversation, resist the urge to fill it immediately. Practice being comfortable with short silences. Remember, becoming a great conversationalist takes practice. You might feel a bit awkward at first, and that's okay. The key is consistency. Now, here's your challenge, should you choose to accept it. It's to try at least one of these exercises in the next 24 hours. Your future self and your future conversation partners will thank you. By practicing these techniques, you'll never run out of things to say in a conversation again. But wait, there's more in the video that's on your screen right now. Watch it next to gain more valuable insights on how you can instantly boost your ability to engage in more meaningful conversations starting right now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you online soon.